Welcome back everybody. Today I get to review a backpack from Saddleback Leather. This is the Drawstring Backpack. It will be released on February 26th, but I wanted to get you this video a day ahead of time just so you have a chance to watch the video and consider purchasing this bag. It was sent to me from Saddleback Leather. These opinions are all my own, but I want to make sure that you know it was sent to me. Um, but it's an awesome opportunity. I'm just kind of blown away that they agreed to believe in my channel and believe what we're doing here, providing a service to you guys. So today you're going to see um, what this bag can hold and this backpack compared to um, the medium, simple, and the bucket bag. So it's gonna be a long one. Grab something to drink, some tea, some coffee, and let's jump into it. chestnut. I am a tobacco girl at heart. We all know this, but nonetheless, I still wanted to see this bag in person and be able to enjoy it. Um, but they only had it in chestnut available for me. So, um, let's do an overall. See, I want to unpack it first cause it's very heavy on one arm, but while it's full, I feel like it really is able to shine. So let me spin it around for you. This chestnut is really showing up really nice today in this camera but um first impressions were that this chestnut is really smooth it feels really nice and i love seeing old bags in chestnut because they have a really pretty scratch up these bags do scratch very easily <laughs> i have it full you'll see what's in it here's some back uh the backpack straps are a little different than before these do slide up and down not well but this is very stiff day one. Um, one way to break in backpack straps is to take them off of the strap and just kind of sit there and bend them while you're watching TV to get them really soft. I'll show you why they are so soft on my medium simple. Um, but the strap is adjustable down here. Let's see, oh, it's so heavy. Down here. And so that's how you would slide the the padding off. So here's the back. Here is the bottom. Dave sent out a really um, detailed email about the fact that there's only two large pieces of leather making up this bag, which is remarkable for backpacks. I mean, you'll see that this flap starts here, continues on, and goes all the way to the base. Whew, that was a good workout. Um, this backpack actually in theory is lighter than most, but the way I have it filled, you'll understand why. So let me open it up. We open it with a buckle strap. Note that this distance from here to here is a lot shorter than most backpacks, which actually kind of makes it a little more clean looking, but there's less options for the height of the backpack. And then we have the flap lined with soft suede pigskin lining. Can you see? Which some people love, some people don't. I like it. And then there's the drawstring. That's why where we get the drawstring backpack name from. It's a very new design for Saddleback. And we're just going to pull on that. Sorry, I was pulling the wrong part. Pull. A little stiff, but you want that friction. And now we can easily open the bag. I had it quite full. So let's move on to what's inside the bag. <laughs> I don't have a baby, but some mom friends of mine left some diaper wipes here. And I see a lot of women using this backpack as their diaper bag. So I thought that was funny. Um, but I do think this is a male or female backpack. Whatever you want it to be, it's yours. So near the top, I have a pouch. This pouch 
it's bright and colorful, but what I actually have in here are um, my wallet, I could pop my cell phone, and some smaller pouches, like the earbud pouch from Love 41. I think this back backpack having no pockets except one in the inside, you're going to want to stick to using pouches with this backpack to stay organized. Bright colors are fun. Um, that's why I picked that one up from eBay. Now let me show you how full I have it. Whew. I was trying to think of like, I have art supplies because I paint, but I was like, no, people don't, the people that watch my channel don't paint. So I was trying to think very universal sizes that I have around my house that you have as well that you might be carrying. So this is a day planner. It is a personal size Filofax. I had that front. We have the Saddleback Leather iPad Mini in tobacco. I use this every week. It's great. A standard size basic book inside. Here's another wallet. This is a long trifold wallet from Saddleback Leather in tobacco. I just had that standing up. Keep going. We got a, um, how many ounces is this? 32 ounce water bottle standing up. We're almost to the end. We have a three ring binder. If people still use these. I'm doing a, a study at my church and we need that. And then um, the whole bag is empty except this back pocket. So you'll see the back pocket right back there. This is pigskin lining and it's floppy. It has some good depth. It actually would really work well to put some of your cables and wires back there that would go with your laptop. Let's see if I could demonstrate. Yeah. So this is a 13 inch surface book. And look at that. I, I kind of like that it's not a tight fit. You can actually um, have uh, more flexibility in what you want to put in there. So I just have a surface book, no sleeve covering it. I haven't found one that really fits snugly on this. Um, and then generally I don't even use the sleeve. So let's look back in here. We have great lighting today. Look at this, guys. You can really see on the inside. Sometimes my videos you can't. Over here we have a key fob, not super long. I kind of like this size, not too short, not too long. And that fits in there in case you need to reference your keys often. Um, half the bag is lined and half the bag is not. So let me show you that again. Can you see where the chestnut starts and stops? I believe you can. Today's lighting is really good. Um, and that would, I think the pigskin lining gives it more structure, the unlined makes it more floppy, and ideally I'm a firm believer that full green leather should be unlined so it can get that floppy patina. When it's too structured, it stays too structured and it never gets soft and it never really tells that story that we all love called patina. Okay, so that was your overview. Let me show you again this, um drawstring straps it is just tied simple one knot uh i got this bag yesterday so that's also the thing i was given this last minute i can't really tell you or speak to you about durability or anything like that i would love to update you guys on how this is going be sure to leave comments in a couple weeks just asking me how's it going um and the launch date is february 26th and i don't know what time of day but the really tricky part is Saddleback Leather is offering a limited run of these. So there are 50 chestnut, there's 50 tobacco, there's 50 in dark coffee brown, and only 10 in black. So when they launch, they could sell out rather quickly. Um, my personality is the hype gets me kind of nervous, and I want to sit on the sidelines and think about things. Um, so... Uh, I just, I just want you to have all that information and then you decide what works for your stress levels, your adrenaline, because this is a really cool backpack. A lot of people are calling it a combination between the medium simple and the bucket backpack, which I have here today to compare. It's kind of like if those two backpacks had a baby, this is where we would end up. Um, so let me close it up and talk about the other backpacks. Do 
some side by side comparisons with this bag. Their handles look very familiar. The, um, why don't I readjust the camera here? Less of my face, more backpacks. Okay, so um, these connection points are very different. On the medium simple, you have, you pull a tab, you weave in and out of some D-rings. Um, this often comes undone. These are often loosened, so I have to tighten them, um, which is just something I deal with. And uh, you can shorten and lengthen here. On this one, it's just connected. No shortening, no lengthening, no coming undone. Very smart. The handles are different. This is lined with neoprene. It's a tube. 360. This one has two straps. There is neoprene, it feels like, inside of here. So that's good. I feel like um, this will be comfortable because of the neoprene, because of the thickness. It's, it's there. But it is different than the medium simple. Let's move on to the um, bucket backpack. So this color backpack is walnut. And right now I will add the dimensions so you can compare those and the weights. The drawstring on here obviously is with the suela leather and it comes down. Um, but it also can be opened by pushing. And what we'll see in Lauren's bag video from before is that that happens a lot easier than it is right now because it's new but what I'm saying is Lauren has to tie it like this so it doesn't come undone um, one negative Lauren had about her backpack was that she felt like water could get in it but um, the way her hair would hang or her jacket hood it wasn't the biggest concern for her it's just ideally she would love a flap so now Having a flap on this guy is just a game changer. So here they are both cinched up side by side. Really different. Um, I can't speak to whether or not this will come loosened on its own. It might need a knot sometimes. Um, just the way they, the choice of cord they used is very different. Is the drawstring. Here is the, um, it's like a bull leather, so it's extremely thick. This is a lot thinner. Um, so we're going to have to keep our eye on that, on how well that holds. Granted, it not holding in this version is not as big of a deal as it not holding in this version because we have the flap that can keep it closed and secure. So the chestnut base has more of a, an established base. I wonder if that will help in time from it falling over. I know this bucket backpack tends to fall forward a lot of times. There's not really a piece of leather that's designated as the base. Um, this bucket backpack had the tube padding. Um, I believe Lauren's, actually my friend Lauren's, hers is a strap that widens and then comes to a narrow point. But that backpack is uh, considered a script logo, and this backpack, which is still for sale, not in walnut, is the, um, the newer logo. So if you were to buy a buck bucket backpack now, you would get the tube shoulder pad. And this is their top handle for the bucket backpack. There is none available outside of this detachable strap that you can use. But again, this is not a video on this backpack. You can find that on my channel. I'm just kind of noting the differences here. See, this is the handle available. And I love me some top handle. So there's one more thing I wanted to show you guys, the difference between the um, drawstring backpack and the medium simple backpacks uh, buckle straps. Um, so here they are kind of lined up. Here is the chestnut. Here is the tobacco, and what I wanted to show you is if you line them up, um, the chestnut is a lot shorter than the tobacco. 
Um, and where that comes into play is sometimes with my medium simple, I will have it so full, so full, that I can't even cinch the um, closure. It has a cinched closure right here um, that you undo. And it will be so full that I will actually buckle it on its very last hole here. I mean, granted, that's not every time. It's normally coming back from a trip when it's full of souvenirs and stuff like that. But this one is um, the drawstring backpack can only go to uh, this point. It's just a lot shorter. All right, everybody, I think that's gonna be it for today. I'm gonna quickly model the backpack. Um, I'm 5'5", five five, and uh, you can see how this looks on me. Let me know what questions you have. I feel like this video isn't as uh, full as I sometimes like because I want to have experience. I wanna have pros and cons. Um, for now, I'm just really interested in discovering what this backpack is like. Um, I think it's got such a smart, sleek design. I think Saddleback had to go through making the simple backpack, had to make the bucket backpack to really, you know, work out these design features that are now available in the drawstring backpack. Um, so let me readjust the camera for modeling and um, I'll see you later. Hello.